Every email you send should include a professional sign-off with your name and contact details at least. Some people also use this space as an opportunity to promote their business. This is called your signature. Now to automatically add a signature to each email you send, click on the tools menu and hit settings. Now scroll down to the signature section, switch it on and simply type in whatever you want. You can add your sign off, your phone number, your Skype ID perhaps. And you might also want to add links to your Twitter and Facebook profiles maybe. And you'll definitely want to add a link to your website. So to add a link, follow these three simple steps. One, write the text you want to be a link. Two, copy the web address of the page you're linking to. And three, highlight the text, hit the link button and paste in the address. Hit save changes when you're done and the next time you create a new email your signature will be added automatically, just like that. Did you ever send an email and instantly wish that you hadn't? Wouldn't it be really good if there was an undo button that would recall your email if you realised you'd made a mistake right after hitting send? Well great news there is. Hit the Gmail tools button and select settings. Head over to the labs tab. Scroll down through the free email add-ons until you see undo send. Enable it, then scroll down and hit save. Next time you send an email, you'll see this option that allows you to undo. It only stays there for a few seconds, but it might just save your bacon sometime. Do you ever sometimes lose track of important emails? Like when you get an email asking you to do something and then you forget who the sender was. Yeah, that is annoying. Now here's what you can do. Select an email and then create a new label, call it something like Action Required. Now whenever you get a new email that requires you to do something and you can't do it right away, then select it and apply your new label. Now, if you click on the label link on the left, it will list all the emails you've labelled as action required, so you can find them easily. And when you're done with the email, then just remove the label by clicking on the X. You can also add rules that will automatically label emails you get from various forms on your website or from various people, but that's enough for now. Labels are very powerful, so check them out. Finally, wouldn't it be great if you had background details on the person who you are communicating with? Like what do they look like? Where do they live? What is their job exactly? Stuff like that. Well, great news, you can. To do this, you'll need two things. First, you need to be on LinkedIn, which is a social network for professionals. If you've got a small business and you're not on it, then I recommend signing up, as it is very good like for networking and stuff like that. Second, you need to be using either the Chrome or Firefox web browser. I'm on Firefox here, but it doesn't matter, both those two web browsers are the best. Now, do a Google search for Reportive. When you do, the website directs you to where you can install their add-on for your browser. And once you've installed it, then you'll need to restart the browser. Now, when you open an email from someone, instead of seeing useless ads on the right-hand side, You'll see their picture, where they are, and what they do for a living. You'll find this very handy when emailing people that you haven't met before. If you're looking for help building a WordPress website for your business, then check out the free tutorials here on WP Applied. You can click the link right here in the video. If you've got a question, please ask away in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please share it and also join our newsletter. Uh, we, every week we send out a weekly email with tips and advice on how to manage your WordPress website properly and how to grow your business online with WordPress. So that's all. This has been Brian Duffy at WPApply.com. Thanks for watching.